you know, beautiful community. We're still not in a chair situation, but we want to do something very brief here, I feel, with your permission, and that is say something big picture about the foreign policy choice between Trump and Harris. And I'm not going to go into the details because there's probably no community online that's more informed on average about the details than you are. So I just want to say something big picture. And in the build-up to saying something big picture, we need to do a little preamble. And the preamble is that my endless ravings about democratic decline mediated strategic incapacity in foreign affairs, my endless ravings about U.S. strategic retreat are still a kind of complement to U.S. strength and power because the difference between Trump and Harris is a difference that is reasonably felt by millions of people around the world to be a difference that's potentially transformative for their lives, a difference on which they depend. The choice we have there is a choice between a woman and an administration that wants to preserve whatever remains of the unraveling post-1945 global order and a man who wants to wreck whatever is left of it. So it's a choice between a combination of delimited strategic capacity and strategic incapacity on the one hand, and on the other hand, destructiveness. It's not the most inspiring choice in the world, but it's a clear choice. Now, somebody might say, well, surely if an international arrangement is expiring, mightn't be good to have a wrecker who accelerates its expiration. And the answer to that is no. We do need, in our public discourse, genuine proposals for a new global order, or renewal of a global order. We need these conversations. But in practice today, in 2024, the only alternative to what the remnants of the post-World War II order offer is really a kind of carousel of power conflict based on frenemy relations, relations of friends and enemies in certain respects. So we've got to understand realistically um, that destructiveness here um, is not going to give us a constructive effect. It's just going to give us less of the stuff that is already in deficit on which we're dependent and which we're for now trying to preserve. Lots of love. Talk very soon.